Hello everybody, June here. So I recently went on a cruise vacation and most of the clothing that I took with me to wear was handmade by me and I thought that I would share with you this little, um, it's not a lookbook per se, but you know, the pieces that I brought with me that were handmade that I wore, how I styled them, so that you can see some of these garments in the wild and not just in my hallway while I'm trying to like fake twirl to show you my monthly projects. So let's get started. But before we get started, I want to let you know that some of these videos are actually not great quality because they were shot on a little point and shoot camera. And as you can imagine, it tends to be pretty dark inside cruise ships. And some of them were done in the evening. So not the best quality, but you get the idea. And so let's start with what I wore when we boarded. I wore my gray uh, Interlock Simplicity 8383 trapeze dress. This dress has gotten quite a bit of wear this summer and it's just, I thought, the perfect thing to go on a cruise for. It's comfortable. It allows you to eat a lot on the first day, which I may or may not have done. Um, and it was just, just overall cute. And I wore it with some... Uh, yellow jewelry because the gray is well gray and i felt like it needed a little bit of a pop of color and the shoes that you can't actually see in this particular video uh, are actually a pair of denim um, alpargatas which are um what are those shoes oh espadrilles like flat espadrilles and the brand is castanier i bought them in spain when i was there last year extremely comfortable I can't speak for other brands, but this brand, which is a little pricey, these are about 100 euros, um, is great. And I wore this outfit all day, including for dinner. I didn't change into anything else. A lot of times you'll wear something during the day and then you'll change into slightly more, um, well, slightly less sporty things at night. But for the first day, I just wore the same thing every day. Then the second day, I wore my beloved and probably three-year-old at this point a crew neck t-shirt from the So You Home Stretch book. This one is in some kind of pretty beefy heavy jersey that I bought at Joanne's eons ago. I don't remember if I ever made a video about this. I think it was before I started making project videos but I wore that with a pair of ready to wear shorts and the same alpagatas from the day before. Then on the second day, so the same day as the t-shirt, we decided that it would be the night where we would dress up the most formal and for that night I wore my brand spanking new blank slate patterns marigold dress in this gorgeous blue silk dupioni that I washed so it's not stiff. It's it's pretty drapey for Silk de Peony. And I love this dress so much. I won't go into too many details about it because it is a July project, which I will cover in the video later this month. But I paired this beautiful blue dress with some white and yellow um, shoes. And I wear it with pearls. And the bag, um, which I don't know if you can see very well in this video, but that clutch it has a face. Uh, it's called Stace Face, and it is a clutch by Alice and Olivia. They are pretty pricey. I bought it on uh, a sample sale. Uh, I love sample sales, and I have some videos about sample sales here in New York City in my um, here in my, in, on YouTube, so maybe I'll link some of that. The sample sale things come and go, so you can't really... like. I don't know if you can find this clutch anymore, but... I mean, I don't know if you would want to, but anyway, I paired it with that. And the shoes, I don't know if I said, are Manila Blahnik shoes. And I've had them since 2012. They were my college graduation present to myself. And I wore them for my graduation, which coincidentally, I also wore a blue gown because that was the color of the regalia of my university. The third day in the evening, I wore another version of Simplicity 8383. I don't know if you've noticed here, but I love Simplicity 8383. This one is in a, a polyester Liverpool knit, and I've talked about it before, and it is pretty heavy, so not quite as daytime summery as a gray one, but I think it's 
um, I mean, it's not a cocktail dress, right? But it's a little dressier than the gray one. And this one I paired with some gray strappy sandals from Aquazura, which I also bought at a sample sale for, I cannot remember, but I can tell you that it was not the full price. And for earrings, I wore some, um, uh, what are they called? Just, just some, it's costume jewelry, but they were not these. It's just some metal, um, like silver pewtery uh, chandelier earrings with like little clear beads. And I've had these for, uh, gosh, I don't know, 16 years and I love them to pieces. Day four was the first day we got off the ship because the previous two days had been sailing days and it was hot. <laughs> So I wore linen, which is actually what I'm wearing now. I wore the classic case patterns, Cali shirt dress all day. And I wore them with just some sandals that I've had since like 2016. It was hot and it was breezy, but this dress just really kept me as cool as it could possibly be. On the fifth day, I wore my second version of the blank slate patterns, marigold dress, which you saw in the video for last month. Uh, it's the one in the in the anchor print chambray, which of course anchors on a cruise. It's a little themey, but whatever. And I wore that with also a brand new that you haven't seen yet, cardigan. It is the Jenna Cardi by Muse Patterns, and I made that pretty last minute. I, and again, I won't go into too many details about it because it will go into the July projects video. Now I wasn't in love with this combination, but it kept me warm enough which is all that matters and again I, I pair these with the strappy sandals I didn't bring them well I say I didn't bring that many shoes but I guess by some people's standards four pairs of shoes is a lot of shoes um I pair them with the same aqua suda sandals and I don't remember what jewelry I wore maybe you'll see it in the video maybe you won't then on day six during the day I wore this um uh, Lawn Simplicity 2896 that I made sometime last year. I think I just showed it in the video. Um, it was very cool and we were mostly on the ship. So it was perfect to just be cool. And then on the same day for the evening, I changed into a dressier dress. <laughs> this dress, um, which you also saw in the June project, is the tailored dress from Fiber Mood issue number four. And I wore it with a pair of hot pink suede Louboutin shoes that I've had for almost 11 years. <laughs> they are not the most comfortable shoe, but they are some of the most comfortable Louboutin shoes that I own. Uh, I own a lot of shoes. <laughs> um, I don't actually get to wear them all. But anyhow, I wore it with those shoes and I think the, the video, the, the quality of this video for this dress... Um, and this outfit is it's it's the worst I think, uh, but you can you can see and I think the pink in the shoes went so well with the flowers in the dress, and again I pair that with the Stay's face clutch by Alice and Olivia, and the chandelier earrings from before, and I really love that outfit. I had talked about the fact that I wasn't crazy about the neck the, the neckline, in the June video, but for this it it just worked out perfectly and it was really comfortable. And then for the last handmade outfit, on the evening of day seven, I wore the blue silk Dupioni marigold dress again, but this time I dressed it down a bit. I wore the yellow jewelry instead of pearls, and I wore the strappy sandals from Akazura instead of the yellow and white shoes, and I, I said this already, but I will say it again. I love this dress so much and I can't wait to show you in the July videos, um, the July projects video, all the details about this dress and all of that. It was just so fun to make. Um, not easy, but fun. And I just loved it. So I got to wear it twice because why not? And those are the handmade pieces and outfits that I brought with me on this cruise vacation. And I hope that you have enjoyed it. I hope that you enjoyed not just seeing the clothing, but also how I actually pair it up with accessories and shoes in real life. Because it is one thing to see a picture or a video of someone just modeling the dress for a video. And it's another thing to see how people actually wear their handmade clothing. 
and I think we don't get a lot of that on YouTube um, or even on Instagram and, and I really wish that people did that more often so I felt that I would do it myself and that is all I have for you this time around thank you so much for watching and I will see you next time bye